dear Serbs and fellow Americans, on this very day, 102 years ago, July 28, 1918, the Serbian flag flew over the White House, commemorating the great sacrifice of Serbian people and their brave soldiers who gave their lives for world freedom during the Great War, also known as World War I. The only other flag flown over the White House was a French flag in 1920, honoring the Bastille Day. So you're asking, why was such a great honor given to such a tiny nation of, at the time, 4.6 million people at the start of World War I? Well, during the fight, during the war, the Serbian army fought 10 times larger force than their own and suffered the great death. They lost 1.2 million people and they lost 60% of their men. So, on July 28, 1918, American President Woodrow Wilson proclaimed a special day of national prayer in all churches across the United States while the Serbian flag flew over the White House. The proclamation was to honor this great sacrifice of this tiny little nation, Serbian people, with their prayers in their time of greatest need. So, you see, on this day, this summer, I was supposed to be in Belgrade giving a big concert when, where American Ambassador Jeffrey Godfrey and Serbian Ambassador Dr. Ljuljana Nikšić was supposed to be in attendance. We all know why that didn't happen, but this concert was supposed to help to establish this very special day, the celebration of remembrance honoring Serbian-American friendship as an annual event and not only just one in a hundred year event. Instead, I'm presenting you today with a mini concert as my gift from American Public Television concert Marina at West Point, Unity Through Diversity, with the West Point Orchestral Band and West Point Glee Club, honoring my compositions that celebrates freedom and peace for all. Well, I will start with my composition, We Are All One Under the Sun, followed by my Balkan Suite, followed by something that I consider as my Balkan soul known as gypsies. And that I promise you all that if circumstances change, I will come to Serbia on this very day, have a large concert, in Belgrade in order to continue this important mission of celebrating American-Serbian friendship, which has its roots of great sacrifice and allies, not only in World War I, but also in World War II. So, my dear Serbs and fellow Americans, let us enjoy this beautiful day of freedom, friendship, and goodwill and let me start with a concert celebrating unity through diversity. Cheers! <laughs>